Gates uh, with their only win coming uh, versus the Bastard Rams. Uh, last week's loss versus Halton, uh, 14 to seven on the road, sent the uh, Lions to one and two with the game of the week versus Ruston ahead of them. Uh, Ruston, in the meantime, lost their first game of the season last week to a number one ranked Acadiana Rams team who's ranked number one in class 5A. Uh, Ruston does appear that they're gonna be fully healthy this game versus Washita, and even on the road, I think Ruston will pull this game off Easily, 45 to 23. All right, my game of the week features the OCS Eagles versus the Oak Grove Tigers. OCS will take it to the road to try to continue on their 16-game win streak that dates all the way back to September of last year. Uh, OCS has been remarkable on offense, scoring 40 or more points a game in each one of those games in this win streak. But they're going to face an Oak Grove team who has only given up six points a game this year with the four total touchdowns in four games. This is one of those games, uh, like the cliche says, what happens when an immovable force gets hit by an unstoppable object? In this, in this case, I think that that unstoppable object will move that immovable force, and OCS will win this game on the road 42 to 31. I'm picking Grissom. This week, I'm guaranteeing an undefeated record. See you next week. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Mr. Pickham Grisham's weekly segment. Sorry about the little uh, interruption there, but uh, we should be back up and running here, and we're glad that you have joined us here on the Neville Tiger Network. We are live in the Family Solutions broadcast booth right in the middle of the Car Town pregame show. And as we roll through this pregame on homecoming night here at Neville High School, Let's get to, uh, <clears throat> I know Robert's been watching film as he does every week. So maybe let's throw it to the keys to the game sponsored by the paper market. So Robert, what have you seen out here for that the Tigers need to do yep. kind of build on that momentum from last week? Yeah, the Neville offense has got to start off <clears throat> very, very hot, uh, kind of where they ended uh, against Franklin Parish last week. We want to see this Neville offense get off to a fast start. That's what we've kind of been slacking at the last couple of weeks, and we know they can do it. Finally had some success against Franklin Parish, and hopefully that can carry over into this week against the stout uh, Minden defense. Uh, the, Physical up front, uh, and Neville's defense has got to stop uh, the Menden screen game. It's something that Neville hadn't seen yet, and with the, the uh, powerful rush that Neville provides, uh, I expect Menden to, to have some success on the, the, the running back screens that they have in their offense. So it'll be fun to watch, uh, watch it play out. Well, as, as we uh, get here, we're going to go down to the Shell Chiropractic Injury Report, and really, as, as far as I know, there's not many injuries to report. I believe – that uh, is Elam. Elam still out. I think he's probably. I think Elam's going to be back right here. He was the only one kind of dealing with that concussion protocol, yep. and and uh, we're seeing Zeb Ruddle out there on the field, who's been out with that elbow injury, uh, and uh, we don't know if he's going to play right here. I know they're going to groom him back into this yeah. deal. Don't know if he's going to play tonight, but we will definitely uh, wait and see. Okay, so. After we got that done, let's go back to the 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 Tenori's uh, scouting report. <laughs> so, building off what we just said there on the keys to the game, the scouting report on on Minden, what I saw, Robert, yep. was uh, some some talented. Uh, they run like a, a big three man front. They yep. sneak a linebacker up there on the end, but I think. Talented defensively, they got a safety, I believe, number 22 that likes to uh, yeah, hit. number 22, Austin Green, is a player. He showed up on film early to me. Um, he's their free safety. He's kind of all over the field. He, he comes up and plays in the run game uh, from 15 yards uh, back. So he's going to be fun to watch. Neville's going to have to uh, try to avoid him as much as they can. And, and Menden, they're 3-4 defense. Uh, cover three, they play a little man and a little zone. They mix it in. It's nothing special, nothing that Neville hasn't seen. <clears throat> Neville's going to have to be able to run the ball and stretch the field and then be able to hit the, uh, hit the zone plays up, up the middle and, and uh, hopefully have some success against this Menden defense. Menden's got a very good front uh, three. Their, their defensive tackles are, are big and they're strong and they're physical. So it's going to be a test for the Neville offensive line tonight.
tonight to, to try to move those big bodies and, and create positive plays in the run game. Um, Menon's offense, they're a true spread. Uh, like I said earlier in the keys of the game, they like to run the running back screens. They run the middle screen, and then they'll run the outside screen with, the, with their two good running backs. You know, It's kind of a one-two punch. You don't really know uh, who it's going to, and then they push the ball down the field, throwing the ball, and, and then you know run the inside zone uh, with, with their two good running backs. So pretty even matchup based on what I saw on film with Neville and Menden. ought to be an exciting game here for homecoming. Well, we, we hope – hopefully it will be. The Tigers are right in the middle of district play. They started off last week with a nice 44-7 to victory over Franklin Parish at their place and get to come back home here uh, for Minden. I believe the Tigers winning last year's game against the Crimson Tide, 34-7. to They also return a, a, a senior quarterback in Trenton McLaughlin that yep. – <laughs> that really manages this offense pretty <laughs> pretty well. And you'll hear from Coach Tannehill that uh, we caught up with him at, at our Coaches Show Wednesday, and we're going to replay some of that here uh, in just a second. But uh, McLaughlin, he says this might be one of the best screen game teams yeah. that he's seen this year. Yeah. No doubt. And, and also I wanted to mention number uh, 19, Jalen Williams from Minden. Uh, he's a sophomore wide receiver, big, tall kid. Uh, he showed up on film as well. So he's one to watch. I think he can be a big play guy for Minden uh, tonight as well. Hopefully our DBs will be able to contain him and keep playing the way that they've been playing uh, this whole season. Well, Robert, we, we talked with Coach Tannehill early in the week. Uh, we, we will to give our best wishes to Adam Hunsucker, who's yeah. under quarantine right now. I hope he's watching this so he can report on it. But uh, I caught up with Coach Tannehill like I always do on Wednesday nights live at Melvin's, and he had this to say about tonight's matchup. All right, everybody, welcome back in to the final segment here on Tiger Talk. Stuart Shelby now welcoming back Neville head football coach, Jeff Tannehill. Sorry, and, sorry. That, uh, look, uh, I mean, yeah. it is definitely went down a notch <laughs> when, when you showed back, showed back up, Coach. But uh, the girls did did great. Raya and Anna Grace uh, did a great job doing. A, are going to do a great job representing Neville High School on they the will. homecoming court. Two very uh, deserving night. young ladies. Two yeah. very deserving young ladies. They both do a lot for Neville High School. They both uh, make great grades. Uh, they do everything like you're supposed to do it, and they will represent Neville High School. Hell, and they definitely do. I mean, uh, multi-talented young ladies, uh, both of them. So uh, I'm gl- I was glad to uh, be able to talk to them a little further. But back to the issues at hand. We've got, uh, like we said, a little pep rally tomorrow. We're out of school Friday, but uh, homecoming on – I mean, out of school Friday, so pep rally's on Thursday, but and we're going to be playing football Friday night against the uh, Minden Crimson Tide. And this is a Minden football team that's – uh, 4-0 and coming into uh, Bill Ripple Stadium. They are a very good football team. Uh, 4-0, uh, played Northwestern, Mansfield. I don't know the other two yeah, teams. Washington it, it, and yeah, – yeah. yeah, Booker T. Washington. Uh, I can't remember the other one. But anyway, oh, it was last week, North uh, – North DeSoto. North DeSoto. Very good North DeSoto team, very physical team. But, uh, you know, honestly, the, uh, d- their defense is, is a lot like last year. Their front, their front three, they play with three down linemen are big uh, physical guys. Uh, Chance and Chase Combs and um, number one, Javante Morris, who started for them last year, very good football player. Uh, you know, the linebacker is Jordan Coleman, number five. Keep an eye out for him. Mm-hmm. He's, a, he's a tackler. And then one of their uh, cover guys, Austin King, number 22, will strike you. I mean, every film we have, he is a physical he hits. specimen. He comes downhill uh, on receivers and mm-hmm. running backs and, and brings the hat in every game we've watched. Uh, he is a physical football player, a very smart football player. Mm-hmm. I think he, he's in charge of that whole defense pretty much. But, you know, they're big up front. Um, you know, we're going to have to use our tight end sets to, to run against their odd front and uh, a lot of zone stuff tomorrow night. Uh, instead of gap scheming because of their, their big nose guard and, and their two tackles. So, you know, they, they present a challenge for us for sure. Anytime you run an odd front against a spread offense, uh, you know, you have to do things a little bit different. You know, mm-hmm. kind of like last week, it took us a little while to get going. Hopefully we're a little more prepared this week for that odd front. Um, but, you know, offensively, it all goes through their their quarterback and their tailback. Yeah. Their quarterback's Trent McLaughlin. You know, he played last year, very yep. good football player. He's an athlete. Uh, you know, he uh, – <clears throat> throws the ball really well, um, you know, but 
he, he makes that offense go. All their screen games and all that stuff. They are probably the best screen team I've seen since Bastrop, you know, in 05 and 06. Really? Um, they are very good with the screens, and they get the ball in the hands of their tailback, Justin Richardson, number 28, who is – he's like 5'8", 195 or something uh, like that. Yeah, he's a, a bowling, bowling ball, ball. Yeah. and he is ripped up. You know, we've got some pictures posted up in the locker room of how good, how big he is, how good he is. You know, he's rushed for like six or 700 yards already. So, he, he's had a really good season. So, you know, we've got our hands full with those guys. Uh, they're very well coached. Um, you know, Coach Hurd does a good job. Uh, he's new. He's been there about three years. It's his first trip to Bill Rupel Stadium. So, mm-hmm. uh, he's uh, pretty fired up about coming and – He's pretty confident in their football team, and and I would be too. They, you know, when you're going, when you're yeah. sitting there four and zero, I'd have a lot of confidence too. And that's the thing we've tried to stress to the guys this week. You know, you know, last year we went over and jumped on them pretty early. Yeah, and uh, really knocked them out of their rhythm early really did. on. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we played extremely well last year too. Um, and so the one thing that we've got to get out, get off to a good start this Friday night, uh, especially you know, all the distractions this week with homecoming and and everything else got to get some confidence on the offensive side of the football and and score some touchdowns early. Well, if you can do that and really uh, dictate what you want to dictate on the offensive side of the ball, as we've we've gone through this season, it's been, you know, a couple of – early on it was that second half that that would kind of reach up and and bite you. Last last week it was a little – like you said, it was just a little confusion up front of what they did. It's somebody a surprise uh, that you that you really maybe weren't expecting from Franklin Paris. But once you got through it, then you you took off. Maybe last week being the most uh, complete game that you've played yeah. on, on both sides of the football. The defense, uh, like we said, has been the defense. Defense has played well since mm-hmm. day one. The offense starting to get its legs underneath it. You can feel that confidence start brewing with with not only uh, your signal caller but some of your skill guys out there and, and having confidence in, in themselves and, and that offensive line. And, and it's almost like you want to keep that momentum going. We do. It, you know, and it runs through, uh, you know, our quarterback, Brett. He struggled at times this year, and then he really played good at times mm-hmm. this year. And when he's playing good, you know, our offense runs in a rhythm and, and our receivers are, you know, getting in the right place at the right time. And so all those little things that you work extremely hard, you know, every week to get right, you know, it's getting close to getting right. So we got to get it right so we can make this push towards the end of district and, and get into the playoffs. Well, the second district game, as, as a lot of you know, that this district is a large district. And, <laughs> and there's two sides to this it district. Is. And and how it, everything's working in and the COVID rules with LHSA almost kind of remains to be seen on a lot of things. I mean, we'll we'll see how how this all plays out for the rest of the 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 season or at least the regular season. But Minden's a good football team. You know, they you've are. got a, you've got a it's couple. Not, a, not your typical homecoming that, opponent. That's not. That's correct. Minden is not yeah. your typical homecoming opponent. They're four and Very talented football team uh, that are coming to Bill Ruppel Stadium on Friday night, and and I know that. Coach Tannehill and the rest of the young men on the football team would definitely love uh, your support. Still under the 25% rule, and uh, I think there we may have – were they saying we may have a couple of uh, tickets left, not many? We've got, we've got a few. Uh, just, you know, we want to remind those season ticket holders at 11 to 1 tomorrow, there's about 80, 80 tickets left, and from – at 4 o'clock, the general public will be able to pick up whatever's left. Now, we'll also be selling those tickets at the gate on the visitor side. Yeah. Uh, once, you know, Menden chose to just take the gate tickets, I guess is how you would say that. Yeah. But uh, they didn't want to sell those at school, and so we're selling them at the gate. And we've held, I think we can put 450 or 500 over there. Yeah. So if you if you don't get a ticket on the home side, you, you can still get a ticket on the visitor side because we've got some room over there for our fans too. So, you know, don't get worried. You'll get in the ball game hopefully and yeah. um, and not miss the homecoming festivities and stuff. So, you know, the best part about homecoming is winning the game. That's the most yeah, that's the most important most part. important part of the game. And sometimes we get a little over anxious and try to get on to the homecoming party afterwards or wherever they're going yeah. this year. You know, for COVID, but uh, you know. We got to concentrate on winning the football game against Minden, and that makes homecoming even that much better. Yeah, it's a it's a district game against uh, the Minden Crimson Tide, so it's it's an important one. You know, Tigers one and zero in district, uh, evened up the the record at two and two on the year, and want to be moving forward 
uh, throughout for that district, uh, keep the, the district title uh, hopefully in your sights. Yes, sir. Sure do. The, um, you know, I think we're going to have a good crowd there Friday night. As many people as we can get, get in as, there. As you can get in there <laughs> and, uh, in a socially distant fashion. Yeah, yeah exactly. everybody social distance. Stay your six feet apart and enjoy the ball game. Yeah. If you can't, you know, if you can't get to the game or you're not able to get in there with, you know, yep. the tickets being sold out, you know, you can watch it right here with and Stuart and Robert. Yeah, we're going to be have everything on the Neville Tiger Network. We're working on uh, the final finalizing everything with the homecoming uh, presentations and everything. So we're going to have all that, bring all that to you this Friday night for Neville's homecoming versus Mitch. All right, everybody, welcome back into the Car Town Halftime Report. Stuart Shelby and Robert Lane up here in the Family Solutions broadcast booth. As you see, the smoke start billowing out of the, the big inflatable Tiger, and here come the Tigers about to bust through the banner, ready for this homecoming contest versus the Minden Crimson Tide. So, as we've been talking about throughout this Cartown pregame show, Tigers got a little momentum there against Franklin Parish. Defense played yeah. out, I mean, lights out as good as we could ask for for the first uh, four games. Now, the offense was needing to catch up, and I believe they started catching up last week as they got uh, put up 44 points, kind of. Got it kicking in the second quarter and yeah. then just took off. Yeah, they they didn't show up great in the first quarter. Kind of were lackadaisical, just kind of going through the motions and woke up there in the second quarter and, and took it to Franklin Parish. Hopefully they can carry that momentum into this game and start out fast. That's what I'd like to see uh, the Neville offense do early in this game is, is first drive, have a long drive, have some big plays and go put points on the board. They need a confidence builder and, and to get going early. And if they can get in rhythm and stay in rhythm, this Neville offense can can be dangerous. So, uh, like you said, the defense is, is ready to go. I, I believe in the defense. Um, the defensive line has, has held up. Linebackers are, are doing a good job. And then the DBs have, have had really good success. So, uh, going to well, be fun to watch. Let's go down to midfield for the coin toss. Captains, if you problem, I'm going to look for you all to solve it. Don't make me do it because when I do, people go to the sidelines and walk off the football with our shoulder pads in our Sportsmanship off white, y'all. Okay, one other thing. If there appears to be a discrepancy with Cox, if there's a off, that is the official. If it goes to zeros, if there's still a second on this one, that is the official clock. Ends on. Okay? All right, make sure you take it. Okay, that is a tail, the hundred. That is a head. Want to defer? Yes, sir. Okay. White one, toss. They deferred, so the Tigers are going to <coughs> take the opening kickoff. That's Wes Robinson, one of the captains for the Tigers, and the captain for Minden was number one, Javante Morris. So with that, we're about ready to play football here at uh, Neville High School. So that's going to about wrap up the Cartown pregame show. <laughs> When we return, we'll have the kickoff here from Bill Ruppel Stadium. Folks, you're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. The used car giants are back, and they're crushing the competition, crushing high prices, and crushing bad credit. And they're bringing something even bigger. One click online purchasing. Visit usedcargiants.com. Choose the car you want from Cartown's huge inventory and buy it with one click. I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. 
When I see the crime statistics for our area, it hits me hard because I know I have the experience and knowledge to make a difference. I was an assistant district attorney under Jerry Jones and a defense attorney in my private practice, trying over 100 criminal trials in both state and federal court. For the first time in 30 years, you have the opportunity to elect your district attorney. Let's work together to create a safer place for our families and be the change we want to see in our community. I'm Menon Campbell, and I want to be the people's district attorney. I'm Matt Dickerson, and I'm a satisfied 3B equipment rental customer. So I called Matt because we were trying to get our plots together for dove season. He brought this equipment out to us, dropped it off, unloaded it for us, and really made the whole process very easy. I know Matt does real well in the service department and through some other rental experiences we've had with him. The tractor that he dropped off for us was in brand new condition. Everything was in good shape. It's good to know that you can count on equipment when he drops it off. I'd highly recommend Matt Bridges and 3B Outdoors for all your equipment rental needs. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14 inch. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from, eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadsticks, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane, and we hope to see you soon. Hey Neville Tiger Nation, this season if you find yourself feeling a little under the weather, visit Go Family Health on North 18th Street. They cover flu shots, sports physicals, sick visits, annual visits, or if nothing is wrong, they can do your regular checkup. Go Family Health has a happy staff, clean office, and they can take care of all your family's health care needs. This is Tiffany Tara with Go Family Health. We love our Neville Tigers. And we want to thank all of Neville Nation for always supporting Go Family Health. All right, everybody, welcome back into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. Stuart Shelby and Robert Lane are ready to bring you tonight's action as the Tigers are set to receive the opening kickoff from the Minden Crimson Tide. Set to kick, kick it off for Minden is the, their junior kicker, number 12, Carter Barrett. And I really didn't see much on, in the kicking game there from Minden on film this yeah. last week. So we will see. You've got A.J. Allen and Timothy Bird ready to receive it. And we're off here. That's going to go to the up back. That's number 40, Jada Smith, who's got some moves. We saw that last week, and he's yep. finally brought down at around the 36-yard line. And that's where the Tigers will take over first and 10. Yeah, good job by Smith there, catching the ball cleanly and getting up the field and getting some positive yards there on the kickoff. And Neville's going to start off with good field position here on about the 36-yard line. Um, it, it, hopefully this offense can get going here. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch them tonight um, as they had success against Franklin Parrish like we talked about earlier. Hopefully that will continue on. And I see uh, number 19, Je uh, Zeb Ruddle, in there. That, that's going to add a charge to this offense tonight. Yep. There's – a handoff, nope, that's Batterford's going to keep it on the first carry. Off a right tackle, he has a nice game. Called about seven right there, Cross the, crosses the 40, and the Tigers will face second down and three. Yeah, just a little quarterback run there to start the game and gain seven yards. Good job by the Neville offense. Looks like Menden's offsides there, uh, defensive end. On the far side, couldn't hold his water. Yeah, that he, he just kind of – it's going to give the Tigers their first Mama DeLuca's pizza first down of the evening. So, as the Tigers get that thing kind of set, we will see what – this play prevails. That's Bradford looking to throw. He's got a little running room. Great job there by Bradford. They tried to run the little <coughs> bootleg there uh, and leak Zeb out into the flat, try to get him the ball, you know, <coughs> get, the, get the ball in your athlete's hands. And, and Zeb hadn't touched it, and we know that he can do some things with the ball. And Bradford, the, the, Menden had the play covered. Bradford got positive yards there, uh, there on first down. So good job by Bradford. Smart play. 
Bideford with the handoff right here. Got a little running room up the right side. Offensive line's really doing a good job. They're getting some good movement, allowing this running game to, to uh, be established early uh, here in the first quarter on this first drive for Neville. Another, another good positive play there, the offensive line. Will Joan, I mean, Will Campbell had an absolute pancake up top and allowed uh, Allen to, to break, break free and uh, get the first down there. So the Tigers driving deep inside the red zone of Minden. There's Allen, breaks a tackle, and he's got room to the right side, and he's going to waltz right into the end zone. A nice job breaking a tackle there on the left side, reverses his field. And that's going to be a 13-yard touchdown run for A.J. Allen. Yeah, great drive for Neville there. That's what you wanted to see. Uh, coming off Franklin Parrish's uh, success that they had against Franklin Parrish, coming out and starting early, establishing the run game, having success early, building that confidence, and, and hopefully uh, we've kind of gotten out of the funk of, of the, the – first quarter and second quarter woes that we've seen uh, the Neville offense struggle with. Uh, and we talked about it. With COVID, they didn't have much time to, to practice. So fifth game of the year, we're starting to see some success. So good job by the Tigers there. Here's the point after by Reed. It's up, and it's good. So with 10.07 to go in the first quarter, Neville strikes first. It's Neville seven, Minden zero. You're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. Stop into Central Station. We have many convenient locations ready for you. Stop in to rest, fill up on gas, and grab a great bite to eat. Central Station locations offer clean restrooms and easy access. Stop into Central Station today. All right. And if you had just joined us, the Tigers didn't take too much time. They received the opening kickoff and drove... 60, uh, 66 yards on that first drive, and A.J. Allen capped it off with a 13-yard touchdown run. And they lead here 7 to nothing. So now we're about to see the our, our, get our first look at the Minden Crimson Tide offense here, Robert. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. I'm, I'm anxious to see this Neville defense get out there and go to work. I've had fun watching them perform. Hopefully they can keep it going. Minden's got some uh, playmakers. This kid back here, number 22, who's the receiver, uh, he can go. So they Kick it to the up back. That's number seven, and he is going to be wrestled down around the 32-yard line. Nice coverage there by the Tigers, and I believe that was Griffin McGee who came up with the stop there after he was – had a couple, actually 17 plumber on the on the tackle is what they said. So Michael Plummer, a, another talented sophomore yep. in there on the special teams. I think Plummer got there first and then Griffin came in and finished him off. Um, I like the way Griffin plays. He's got some tenacity that he plays with for this Neville defense. Fun to watch him. Menden looking yeah. to the sidelines. Menden's got the two backs that are uh, – they're probably their two playmakers, right, standing right next to the quarterback. So, uh. High snap and a nice catch right there by 28. That's Justin Richardson as that was well covered. I saw uh, Marion Elam come up and almost jump that, that route, but uh, – Justin Richardson comes comes down with it on the first play, right out to the 40, the 37 yard line. Actually, that it started on the 27, so that's a yeah. first down for the for Minden. There's with the single back set. Lofton looking for it, and there's a screen, and it pops up in the air, and it it was Griffin McGee had it. And then big number 94, that's Samari <laughs> Wright wanted a piece of it yeah, too, and they yeah. fought each other for it. Yep. And that was just a perfect setup for a pick there, and it's going to be second down and 10. You know, Griffin had a couple last week that uh, got away from him uh, in Franklin Parrish's game. So, uh, you know, got to come up with that play. Uh, 
there. Whoever makes it, got to kind of communicate, kind of like calling a pop up in in baseball, yeah. you know. Um, Big Sledge ha- has Griffin uh, out height and outweighed by a lot, so uh, kind of defended the own pl- their own play there. There they're looking, and there's McLaughlin trying to run this one. He's going to get flushed out of bounds around the 40 yard line. Let's call it the 41. And on second down, the Minden QB gains about four yards. So as we are we rolling through here, uh, big third down play here for the Tigers. As you know, Minden trying to keep their drive alive here. 9:16 to go, actually 9:08 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, got to expect them to try to throw it down the field right here, uh, or our screen. Uh, that's kind of what they've been known to do. Tried the boot. Yep. And that's going to be incomplete. Overthrows the intended receiver. That was Jalen Williams and the Crimson Tide. I would think are going to punt this football away. That ball is sitting on the 41-yard line of Minden. Yeah, uh, Minden's quarterback there sprinted to the left and, and, and had number 19, Jalen Williams, you know, one-on-one with the corner. If he just sticks it on him there, it's it's a first down Minden. Ball didn't come out good, and uh, Neville uh, forced Minden to punt here. So good 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 drive there by the Neville defense. Now what we've got is the quarterback, McLaughlin, is the punter. He punts it out to Bird, and Bird – Picks it up around the 27-yard line. Has the edge and a nice block. That's going to free him. And Griffin McGee is going to get a flag for that. But Bird's going to take it all the way from the 27. And they're going to get Griffin for a blindside block. Yeah, that I, He that, led with his shoulder, but uh, you, can't, you can't do that yeah, that's a, that's anymore. That's a new, new rule in football. Uh, uh, it's a shame because... Uh, he, he, Griffin's block broke him free. You know, Griffin's got to be uh, disciplined enough to just just turn his back and, and shield the guy. And it's it's yeah. tough. If I was in that position, I would probably have to do the same thing. It's it's football, you know. But but the rules don't allow it anymore, and um, you, you just got to shield him and get in his way and, and turn your back to him. And um, you know, unfortunately, that's going to back Neville up and and, and uh, you know negate a, a a huge play there by Bird. Great job by him picking the ball up and. And, and getting in the open field and going up the sideline. So unfortunate there for the Neville special teams. Uh, they had you know, just put points on the board. Uh, Neville offense is going to have to uh, start uh, backed up a, a little bit on this drive. We'll see where they mark it off. And Griffin was one we I talked about on the drive before, on, I guess on the kickoff. Uh, he's the one who plays with uh, some tenacity. And he showed it right there. Yeah. Well, they're going to re- – there were they were offsetting penalties. Yep. There was a yep. flag in the backfield yep. and a flag yep. uh, on, on the return. So, the, replay after the all that, we're going to just replay. We're going to kick this thing yep. again. So Another shot at it. <laughs> I bet you they don't kick it to Bird this time. <laughs> well, <I> <laughs> they're going to use a lot of this field down here, I, I imagine. There's the snaps back. Ooh, there it is. 43 almost got in there yep. to knock it away, but uh, that one's going to go out of bounds at around the 31, and the Tigers will take over first down and 10. Yeah, unfortunate there for, for Neville, but um, hopefully this offense can, can keep the, the rhythm they had on that first drive and push it back down the field and, and get some points here. You know, Menden's defensive line, you can see them. There's they're some big kids out there. They're not kids. They're men. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I watched them on tape. They do a good job of, of getting – getting uh, of creating havoc in the backfield. So There's a snap. They're going to give it to Ruddle, his first carry of the year. He takes it off the left side. Nice game for a, a Mama DeLuca's pizza first down. Yeah, good to see him back in action. He, he's a great athlete. He's a really good baseball player and, and is getting some attention from, from big-time colleges uh, on the baseball side. But, but he's also a, a very talented football player. He plays offense and defense. So good to see him back in the action. Yeah, definitely. And it adds just another dimension to yeah. that Tiger offense. All right. 
Tigers are set. Batterford looking to throw here on first down. That's the look in. There's Ruddle. He's cutting across the field, and he's going to get about five on the, the catch. And it's going to be second down and five. So, actually, they're going to say he's back to the 46-yard line, so that's going to be a gain of about four, actually. So second down and six is what we've got here. Uh, the Tiger offense looks to be in a little bit more yep. sync than it has been early in the last in the first four games. Yep. There's a handoff to Bird. He's looking for room around the left side and gets forced out of bounds. Around the, around the 48 yard line. Going to create a third and short here for the 47. They showed. showed. So they said he was out of bounds a little bit shorter oh. than what we saw, but it was on the far sideline. So it's going to be. A gain of about one, really, on that play, and it'd be third and five. <laughs> I'd have to review that in that spot <laughs> if, if we had it. All right, third and five for the Tigers. First time they've faced a third down here in this football game. 7.32 to go here in the first quarter. Going to hand it off to Bird up the middle. He's got the first oh, yeah. down and a little bit more room. He's waiting for a block. He didn't need it. He's down to the 25, 20, 15, 10. He's going to tiptoe, great and does job. he get in? He does. Yeah. What a great, great job da tiptoeing down the sidelines and evading a couple of Minden tied uh, defenders. Yeah, great run there by Bird, feeling it out, feeling the soft spot, cutting back against the grain. And, and number 21 for Neville, um, that's uh, looks like Cameron Carter. He was running with the play. He was on the backside, and the play busted out, and he was there to kind of shield the guy and, and break uh, Bird free uh, to, to score the touchdown there. So great job by the offense again, uh, taking it to this Minden defense and, and putting points on the board. They're playing with a, a lot more of a passion, it seems like, tonight. Well, Bird gets his first down of the night, and that's William Reed's kick is good. So, folks, 7-18 to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Here in the first quarter of play, the Tigers lead the Tide, Can't allow fourteen them to nothing. To have third and short. That's what West Monroe lived. And we're going to keep it, is, keep is it right here. As uh, that replay we just showed you was from the West Monroe game. <laughs> we were working on this this replay uh, system, which seems to just been giving us fit the last couple of <laughs> Sometimes nights. this stuff has a mind of its own, and but we're learning. We, we are. We appreciate you guys yeah. uh, joining us here on the Neville Tiger Network. And uh, Tigers <clears throat> really taking it to Minden here early in this football game and 14 to nothing. You know, Minden yeah. came in here undefeated yeah. at 4-0. Well, and, and it's good to see Neville being at home, having, having the momentum of being at home. And, and the offense coming out, getting the ball early and scoring points on their, their first two drives. It kind of takes the wind out of you if you're mended. You know, I mean, you, you drive over here, you're already playing Neville. Uh, you're 4-0, but, you know, you get two touchdowns scored on you before you know it, and, and here you go. So good job by the Neville offense by putting up points. And there's a kick's going to go out of bounds at the 41, and that's Reed trying to kick that short little pooch. Yep. But you don't want to kick it out of bounds because you kick it out of bounds past the 35, it goes to the 35. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's, this one was around the 40. They're going to knock mark off about five yards here. Yeah, it's kind of it's probably going to start around the 45. Yeah, it's kind of like hitting a nine iron too good. You know, you yeah. don't know you have it in you, and, and next thing you know, you hit it over the green, and that's kind of what happened there. He, um, he trying to pooch it there, to in, in, you know, around the 40, 45, and just got under it a little too much and. Uh, Kicked it out of bounds there. So, Minden's going to have good field position to start this drive. Well, Minden's here with the second possession of the night. They're going to start from the 45. McLaughlin checking his wrist for the play. He's got it, and they hand it to the little bowling ball back there. Yeah. Is that running back? That's number three. Yeah, Neville brought pressure there off the edge. And um, when you do that and they run the inside run game, that's what happened against Franklin Parrish. Neville brought pressure off the edge. It leaves one backer in the box. If they if they wall him off, you can you can create a big play, which Franklin Parrish did. That was the one play of their night. Um, and 
uh, uh, luckily the defensive line there uh, made the play in the backfield. They move another man back. They're going to play the screen game and nice job of covering, picking that up. As yeah. Griffin McGee fought through a block and forced his man back inside. Yeah, that was great defense by Griffin. He didn't make the, the, the tackle, yeah. but he forced the play back inside. He, he never lost leverage. It forced it inside so his partners could come in and, and make the play yeah. for, for short game. <clears throat> Lane Blue finishing that off with Dexter Walker there, number 51. And that's going to make third down and six here for the Minden Crimson Tide. And we've got a timeout time out. here as we've reached the the hydration timeout here at the six minute mark here at Neville High School. So it's a hydration timeout. We're going to take a timeout too, folks. Don't forget homecoming shirts are on sale. Get your also by I'm Christian Creed. Catherine and I have been your local injury attorneys for more than 20 years. At Creed and Creed, we don't use gimmicks. We value our community and the clients we serve. When you see a Creed and Creed ad, you know it's real. Real clients, real results, and no fine print. Don't be misled by out-of-town attorneys using dramatizations or paid testimonials. If you've been involved in an accident, call Creed and Creed today. Thank you, Neville coaches, staff, and teachers for taking care of our family. Now let us at Shell Chiropractic take care of you. All right, everybody, welcome back to that hydration timeout. Stuart Shelby, Robert Lane here with you on the Neville Tiger Network. This is a third down and six play upcoming for the Minden Crimson Tide. McLaughlin's looking to throw. He throws out, and it is caught right around the Tiger 45. A nice throw and catch there. I believe that was number 11 on the, on the reception. That's Parker Hall. And, and you know, we've... McLaughlin, the senior QB, yeah. he's got a strong arm. We yeah. saw that last year, and then uh, he continues uh, here his senior year. Yeah, that was a good good throw and good conversion there on third down by Menden. Uh, just leaked the guy out in the flat and, and threw it to the chains. They, you know, The receiver did a good job of knowing where the sticks were and, and getting to them and, and making a good catch there. Uh, Griffin McGee was on the coverage and, and just a little bit out of his reach there, and, and uh, you know, kid made a good play there making the catch. Slow snap in the back, I mean, to the backfield, and that's a nice, tough run by number four. That's Damian Robinson. And uh, I saw Will Campbell down yeah, there. Yeah, he came. Over to chasing that play. Yeah, that's and good to see. Uh, that was a good run there by, by number four. Yeah, nice first down run there from Minden. Gain of about seven. It's going to be second down and three. Neville needs to come up with a turnover here uh, or a sack or something positive here on second down, push him back and create a, a, a third and long. Here's McLaughlin with the tide driving a little bit in Comes Neville territory, pressure. set up the screen, he overthrows it. That pressure, yeah. a little extra height there by 66 yeah. might have affected that throw, but the Tigers had broken through, yeah. and that's going to bring up a third down here for, yeah. for Minden. You know, Neville brought pressure, and in the screen game, Minden had them where, where you want them. Yeah. If you're able to, to execute and get the ball to the back there, now it's tough. Will Campbell's in your face, and, you know, he's 6'7", and it's hard to throw over him. you got to throw around him. But um, it, they had the guy leaked out there. If they catch it, it's one-on-one -on -one with the corner. And, and then the free safety. So they had a good play there, um, just, just couldn't get it to him. Good job by Neville putting on the pressure on him. All right, McLaughlin looking at third down and looks across the middle. There it and is. That's picked off. There it is. That's going for six. That's Marion Elam 
He's still on his feet. He's going to be brought down around the 25-yard line. But McLaughlin tried to test the middle. But Elam stepped right in front of it and picked that pick that ball off so uh, across the sure. middle there it and is. that's picked uh, off there it is the that's going for six. there it is yep. skips got it and there's the replay is that's Mario and Eva he's still on his feet oh. he's going to be brought down but around the nice three. pick and return there actually down to the 21 yard lines where they're going to mark him down for Elam yeah great job right there uh, Menon was was driving and, and Neville came up with a uh, a big turnover there uh, Defensive back showing up again. We've talked about it the last five games, or four games, I'm sorry, in the scrimmage. Um, they, they have showed up uh, big time so far. Batterford looking there down the middle of the field. He's right there, and that's Robinson with the catch. One play, 21-yard drive, and that's the middle of the field we were talking about yep. last week being open. Robinson with the little post. Yeah, they just froze the, the, the free safety there so far. Uh, Batterford looking with, down the middle of the field. He's right there. And, 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 and that's Robinson with the catch. Batterford was able to throw it right One up play, the top of his One play, 21-yard drive, and that's great, the middle of the field. Great play, great offensive scheme there, uh, and great execution by the, the Tigers. Well, you know, it, I, you saw the, the lineup, and when Batterford do, kind of dropped back to pass, I was like, the Tigers going to take a shot here after yep. that big play. and. And it paid off for him. Here's the kick is blocked by – so the extra point is going to be no good. But nevertheless, the Tigers have started off hot here yep. in uh, the first quarter. They lead this one 20 to nothing. Folks, you're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. Dr. Justin Tarver and his team at Tarver Dental can handle all of your general restorative and cosmetic dentistry services. Give them a call today to schedule your next appointment. 318-343-6006. Hi, right, we're back. The, ti the Tigers have really came out hot, and we've got our roving reporter this evening, <laughs> Jason Ewing down there on the sidelines. And, Jason, I mean, a much better start for the Tigers here at homecoming. All right. And Jason's not coming with us. So, uh, I guess Jason's not down there. We'll try to, we'll try to, to catch him here uh, later on here in the first quarter. So, William Reed set to kick it off here as they lead 20 to nothing. That's the up back is going to take this one. That's number seven. He's got – he's going to be out of bounds right around the 40. Yeah, Neville just kind of lost contain there uh, on the sideline and allowed him to, to, to get out, uh, stepped out, on, out of bounds on about the 40. Uh, so Menden will take over here, uh, first down on the 40, down 20 to nothing with four minutes to go, four, 4.06 to go here in the first quarter. So we'll see what this Neville Tiger defense can do uh, uh, against this uh, talented Menden team. They just hadn't been able to, to get going yet. Well, here's Menden on their third drive of the night. Their last one ended up with uh, an interception, and the Tigers scored on the, the, the next play. McLaughlin trying to get the Crimson Tide back in this football game. They're going to hand it off to number three, and he's got not much doing on the right side as I believe that's Elam in there on his first tackle. hand it off to number three, and he's got game. not much yeah, Griffin McGee doing did on the right great side. Job of keeping his leverage, forcing that play back inside. Uh, to, to the big guys and, and uh, playing good. That's good sound defense. That, that, that's well coached. He knows what he's doing, uh, and, and that's the second time tonight he's, he's you know, hadn't lost leverage and let the ball get outside. So good job by him. Yeah, lots of one on the play. Second down and 11 here for the Crimson Tide. 324 to go here in the first quarter of play. This one's going to be a little option play, and the Tigers had a shot of him in the back at the running back in the backfield, but he didn't get too much as Elam ran him out of bounds. 
at around the 43-yard line. So a third and about eight coming up for the Crimson Tide. Yeah, just ran the speed option there, and they're pitching off the end man on the line of scrimmage, and quarterback gave it up uh, a little early, and, and Neville's linebacker there, I believe it was Hinton, uh, had him in the backfield, just uh, the mending running back. They're, they're you know, short, stocky, strong kids. They're hard to get down. He was able to fight for a, uh, a few positive yards there. All right. Second down. Third and eight. Looking out, and it went to the sticks. Another nice catch there under good coverage. That time it's number 19 for the Crimson Tide. That's Jalen Williams. And you said that. I mean, these receivers, yeah. you know, Jalen, uh, just a sophomore, but went to the sticks yep. and turned around, and it was a nice throw there from McLaughlin. And they crossed the 50 down to the Neville 49. Yeah, that's, that's showing that he's well coached. He's a sophomore, and he knows to get to the sticks. It's third down and, and long, and he gets to the sticks, makes a great catch with his hands, and moves the chains there for Menden. Well, that time the Tigers wrapped up the running back for no gain. And once again, that's Lister on the carry. Dexter Walker there from the backside, number 51. He's playing hard. He, he ran that play down. Uh, that, that's showing great effort and, and passion. You know, that's what you want to see out of the, the defensive guys and, and the offensive guys, playing with passion. The defense has done it all year. We're seeing it out of the offense tonight, which is a, a good thing. So, a uh, great play there by, by 51, running that play down uh, for, for the Tigers. Laughlin rolling out, throwing deep down the field. The Tigers, that ball is nowhere near being no. caught. As I don't know if that was a – Miscommunication, but uh, they were throwing at Dubose. And yeah, I think they were just trying to, to hit the corner out there. They throw in the smash route. It, they run a hitch outside and, and run the inside guy on the, the corner route, and Neville had it defended and uh, had a little pressure on him there again uh, by 51 Dexter Walker. And uh, quarterback, he, he got it out of his hands a little too quick. Uh, it, was, it was more of a hope than it was a throw. <laughs> it was a throw. That's right. <laughs> So third down and 10 here from the Tiger 49-yard line as Minden looking to keep this drive alive here. Moved maybe a little early. They look for the short deal. The ball's popped up in the air. The Tiger trying to get to it. I believe that was uh, that was Strauder that almost had a shot at getting it, but it's going to be fourth and 10, and it looks like Minden – might have to punt this one away. Stewart, I'm, I'm so impressed with Neville's defensive backs breaking on the, the football. That, I mean, that play right there for, for a high school DB, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. I mean, it, it really doesn't. I, I've, I've seen a lot of good defensive backs, and at the high school level, that is how you coach them up, and that's how you play the defensive back position right there. McLaughlin's going to punt that one away. Tigers tried to come after it and didn't get it, but Bird catches it around the 16-yard line. Going to try to make a couple of moves. Now reverses field. He's out to the 30, and there's going to be a block in the back or something right around the 34-yard line. Griffin McGee had a, a nice block. I, I wouldn't say it was a, a, a crackback block. This time he just squared the guy up. I'm not sure if that's what they – Made the call on. I didn't see it, Stuart. Did you? Yeah, and I think that's what Coach Tannehill's wanting to deal. And and, yeah, I mean, and they went for that backside hit again. And and the first one I could understand. Yeah, that I was mean, a, he. The, I mean, yeah. It was, a few years ago, that's a that's a, that's a great block. Yeah. Right now, it's it's not. And, and but it, anything, if they say it, yeah. we'll see this. It's the same guy that called yeah. it. So yeah. well, he's looking for that. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a risk in life that sometimes you got to take. And playing football, there's big time risk, you know. And I understand about protecting kids and 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 you know their health and safety is number one. But you know, there's a fine line in playing football and and not. So uh, you know, great job by Bird there, uh, making you know, the return uh, and, and, you know, unfortunate penalty there again on, on special teams, going to back Neville up. Uh, so they'll have to go the, the length of the field here. All right, Tigers going to start this drive on their own 18-yard line. Batterford 
is going to be wrapped up. The ball comes out, and, and they're going to call him down. They're going to say he was down right around <laughs> the, 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 the nine. <laughs> as uh, <laughs> somebody was trying to pick it up and run. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for the quick whistle right there. We, it's been going against us uh, recently, yeah. but uh, that was a fortunate quick whistle there because they had Batterford wrapped up and, and the ball squirted out. Um, so Neville goes backwards about eight yards, second down and 18 here for Batterford. There's the quick pitch, and there's a flag, another flag, as A.J. Allen reverses his field. Tries to get out, and he's tripped up around the nine-yard line. But there's a couple of flags here. That's going to be an illegal shift against Neville. And uh, that was a quick one. So uh, there was no discussion about that one. That'll be half the distance to the goal. Looks like they declined it. They're going to decline it and take the the down and distance, and now it's going to be third down and 19 here for the, the Tigers. So, uh, actually, third, third down. Yes, third down and twenty. Actually, I yeah. think it's right on twenty. Third down and twenty. So here's Batterford, in the shadow of his own end zone. Tigers waiting for the play to be blown live. There he goes. Batterford going to roll out to his right. Nope, he's going to hand it off to A.J. Allen. He's got some running room, but he's going to be forced out of bounds at around the 20-yard line. And the Tigers are probably going to have to punt it away for the first time tonight. Yeah, good play call there. You got a lead. They just ran the sprint draw, tried to get out the backside to get a big play. And and basically what you're trying to do there is add yards to your punt if you can't break a big play. So, you know, I guess he got, what did he get, about eight yards there. So that adds eight yards on to the end of your punt. Uh, William Reed, if he can catch this one clean and, and hit a good one, you flip the field and you play field position with the lead. So uh, that's kind of what, what you're thinking uh, as an offense. There's a snap back to William Reed. He gets a punt away, and that's another nice one. But it's going towards the Minden sideline. Let's see where they said this thing goes out of bounds. The official's walking up and up and up yeah. and up, and he's going to stop at the 36-yard line of Neville. But yeah. uh, every time I see an official do that, I think of the, the – what is that Cliff game on, on uh, The Price is Right yeah. where the guy's yodeling and he comes <laughs> yeah. off the deal. You never know when know. that fool's going to fall down. But, oh, no. you know, there we go. Oh, no. So – uh, all right, so Minden with their best start and field position of the night. They're going to start at the Neville 36-yard line. Neville leading, as you can see there on the James Machine Works scoreboard, uh, 20 to nothing. Snaps back to McLaughlin. He's going to take a shot deep. They're fighting for it, and a nice catch right there. At around, He's going to be downed at the two by the sophomore, 20 to nothing. Jalen Williams, back to Strader was going to take a shot step deep. Step and, but they're you fighting see on the replay, just a, and a nice heck catch, of a catch catch there, there by number 19. Around. Heck of a catch, heck of a throw. Nothing really Strader could do there. He he was in pretty good position. Uh, Menden uh, just executed a, a, a good big play there um, on, on Neville. So. Well, first and goal from the two here from, for Menden. Are they going to bring their first man through? Are they going to say, yes, he is, as he do- dives over the pile? I believe that was number four. Was it four? Or yeah, was, I, yeah I think it was that was four that scored. Dalen Robinson. So a 36-yard drive in two plays. Nice catch there by number 19, and then Dalen Robinson pokes it in from the two. Now that's the kicker, Carter Somebody Barrett. Can. There's a, another flag on the play. Offsides on Minden. I was going to back them up five and on here on the ec- extra point. Yeah, Stewart, it's unfortunate. You know, Neville had the penalty on special teams, backed them up, and then had the had the penalty there on or, or the sack, and, and then uh, I believe they had a penalty on offense and, and backed them up even more. Didn't hit a good punt, allowed good field position, and, and Minden hits a big play and, and puts points on the board. All right. 
The kicker's going to reset. That's Barrett. Backs him up five yards. Snap is down. The kick is up. And it's good. So the tide is on the board with three seconds to go here in the first quarter. We're going to keep it right here. Uh, the Tigers leading it 20 to 7. But uh, right now, let's go down to our sideline reporter, Jason Ewing. And uh, Jason, you know, a big play there by Minden kind of gets them closer, but you can't, you got to be pleased with the Tigers in the first quarter. Yeah, man, they've played a great first quarter, and it's good to see the Tigers come out with a little fire in the rear ends. Yeah, and, you know, big plays on both sides of the ball. Did you get a, a shot? Just speaking of that. Kid number 19 is a sophomore there for Minden that made that catch. Yeah, it was a well-thrown ball, and the kid made a heck of a play. All right, well, we'll check back with you later on here in the second quarter. All right, so Jason Ewing kind of helping us out here on the sidelines. Tonight, as we're going to let this kick off and with, we're looking at three seconds to go here in the first quarter. So this will probably most likely be the last play of the first quarter. Barnett set to kick it away, and he's going to pooch this one up. And a fair catch is going to make us have one play. That Terry West Robinson <laughs> <laughs> fair caught it. So we're still going to have one play. That won't be the last play of the first quarter. Tigers are going to have to run one here. Yep, another another chance to go get points uh, here. Hopefully this drive will be a little bit uh, better than the last. You know, had the the sack and then a penalty. Just couldn't couldn't get going. Started backed up from the from the punt. Um, and, and so uh, got good field position here, uh, be able to get a, one play here in, in the first quarter and, and wrap things up and, and flip the field and, and start to second. Well, Batterford back there. Ready. This is going to be – this should be the last play of the first quarter. He snaps it and he's going to hand the ball. Nope, he's going to take it himself with a big gain right up the middle of the field. Out across the 40 to the 45, actually the 46 is where he's going to be. And, folks, that's going to be Amama DeLuca's first down, but that's going to also be the end of the first quarter. Folks, Neville leading this one by the score of 20 to 7. You're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. From her start as a prosecutor in Monroe City Court, maintaining law and order in Northeast Louisiana's largest city, to serving as Monroe's chief legal advisor as its city attorney, Angie has the knowledge needed to ensure our courts are fair and accountable to the public. On November 3rd, please vote Angie Deal Sterling for our next district judge. At Caples and Robinson Orthodontics, making beautiful smiles is our passion. Our doctors are Northeast Louisiana's trusted board-certified orthodontists, and they love helping our patients create the smile they've always wanted. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. And we're back here in the second quarter now at Bill Ripple Stadium. Tigers Looking to answer that score by the Minden Crimson Tide on their last drive. Batterford barking at it with a first down. He takes it again himself and has some running room. Makes a nice move around the 50. And oh. a flag comes in at the end of the run. He's going to have enough for the first down. But we'll see. But it, the way that flag looks, it looks like it's going to be holding against the Tigers. So yeah, after on. the end of the play... They're going to back this up. Either way, yeah, it's going yeah. to be another first down. Yeah. Uh, it might be first down and should be uh, maybe a, they threw it at the at the the stick. So yeah. it's first down and ten again. Yeah, it's he, unfortunate because I believe the hold happened behind the play. You know, Batterford was yeah. was already out of the uh, out of the gate there, and 
Uh, unfortunate hold. And penalties here in the last little bit has kind of uh, been pushing the offense back. Uh, got to get in, a, get in the rhythm and get going. All right, low snap there, but Batterford handles it. Hands it off to Allen. He's got room around the left side this time. He's got first down yardage and breaks another tackle. It's a foot race. He cuts back across, and he's going to score. Great job. What a run there from A.J. Allen. Great. 44 yards. I mean, 54, 54 yards. Handles it. Hands it off to Allen. He's got room around the so, left side this time. He's got first down <laughs> another, yardage and breaks another tackle. It's a foot race. Play. He cuts back across, Drive and he's going to score. Tigers. And they get those points back in a hurry. Yeah, great job by Allen. We, we've seen it happen uh, this year a lot. He, he's a spark for this Neville offense, and, and great run. That was just an individual. He, he just out-athleted everybody on the field, just outran them, and uh, great job by Allen. Here's William Reed. Last extra point the Tigers had was blocked. There's the snap. Kick is up. And it's good. So with 11.32 to go here in quarter number two, the Tigers get that touchdown back. And it's 27 to 7. Folks, you're watching Neville Tiger Network. We'll be right back. The used car giants are bringing something massive to the Twin Cities. One click online purchasing. Visit usedcargiants.com. Choose the car you want from Cartown's huge inventory and buy it with one click. Cartown, the used car giants. All right, we're back here on the Neville Tiger Network. Tigers with another one play drive. A.J. Allen with a 54 yard touchdown run. The extra point by. Reed was good, and the Tigers get their lead back to 20. So here's Reed set to kick it off. Another, this, is, this time a better job, down to about the 20 there for Reed. The Tigers trip up the return man. That's, that's number 11, Henry Cagle on the stop for another yep. talented sophomore for the Tigers. They're on special teams. As yeah. he trips up, I believe that's Alvin White was on the return. Yeah, good open field tackle there. Uh, if he gets by Cagle, he's got a little room. He's going to hit the sideline. and uh, Nice shoestring tackle there by Cagle. So, Henry, uh, with that stop, is going to bring the Tiger defense back out there. As Minden is going to start this drive from their own 26-yard line. Throwback screen there, and there's Hinton Roberts. Yep. It was all over it. Nice job. That's going to lose a couple of yards as he was – McLaughlin was looking to hook up with Williams again. Yeah, just run the, ran, ran the wide receiver screen there to the short side of the field. They had a play. You could see that Neville's uh, rush was, was you know, up the field. Quarterback got the ball out of his hand. Hinton did a great job of beating the one-on-one -on -one block and, and making the tackle there for a, a short loss there on first down. All right, second and 12 here for the Crimson Tide. Back to a double back set. Looking to cross the middle, and ooh. The, lucky for Laughlin, that throw was a little high because yeah. it, that might have been pick number two for Marion Elam. Yeah, they're trying to run the slant into the double safety look over there, and and uh, Neville's safety there, free safety, is, is sitting and, and playing the ball. You know, he had the pick earlier um, there on the same same type play. So, um Good, good job by the Neville defense, and the ball didn't come out of the quarterback's hand great. I think if it would have, we'd have had another pick, or at least a shot at it. All right, third down and 12 here. Laughlin with a single back behind him. He's going to bring another one back there. He's going to roll to his right, throws deep, and that's going to be incomplete as Dubose comes over. Nice, just, just watching him close yeah. on the football. I mean, he gives a little cushion there, and it's almost like he's baiting yep. that quarterback. The Neville DBs, especially Dubose, they understand how to play the position. 
Yeah, you know, you almost want to, to, to let the guy get a, a little bit open so they throw. If you, as long as you know what you're doing and you can break on the ball, you want the ball to come to your side. And, and that's what Dubos is so good at. He, he baits them into throwing it and goes and makes a play on the ball, not the receiver. So uh, good, good job there and, and creating, uh, creating men to, to punt the ball. Yep. Once again, McLaughlin set to punt this one, I believe. Is that McLaughlin? Yeah. Yep, he's going to punt this away from Bird again. Yeah. The ball is going to start bounding towards the sideline. It's going to be down by Minden at the Neville 42, and that's where they'll take over again. And, you know, we were can't talk about it enough. You know, this Neville offense has really – Kind of gotten going yeah. here in the first half. We did have a little stutter d backed up deep yeah. in our in our zone. I mean, in, in our n near our end zone. But other than that, uh, we got a flag down there. Yeah, it looked like it. I don't know if they waved it off. Um, it seems like on special teams, it's supposed to be the forty-two. <clears throat> That's where the the ball went out of bounds at the forty-two. Yeah. I think they were worried about the spot right there. And we're going to mark yeah. this back. Yeah. Personal foul against the Tigers. And, man, the Tigers just yeah. can't. Uh, the special teams are just yeah. not. <laughs> shooting I ourselves mean, it, in the foot. They've had some nice special teams plays that have, have been blown back because of a penalty. But uh, now the, the Tigers, instead of starting on the 42, will start on the 27. So, that's where they will start this drive. Batterford wanting the football. Tigers wanting to go quick. Looks deep. He's there got he a man. That's Bill Quarius backing up and just kind of, once again, Bill Quarius starts going backwards sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and that time it just, uh, the, the DB didn't give up on the play and got a hand in on it. Yeah, Batterford's got to get the ball out of his hand just a little quicker there and let Bill Quarius run under it. Yeah. You know, he just underthrew it just a hair. Um, you know, I was expecting that to happen with, with Bill Quarries. He's a big-time receiver. He, he can make big plays, and real close to having one there. They're going to hook up yeah. at some point. There's the little forward pitch to Robinson around the left side. Not much going. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be about it. Actually, he might lose a yard as they're going to mark this down at the 26. And it'll be third down and eleven. We'll see what the Tigers can dial up here. We're at 9.52 to go in the first quarter. There's a oh. look in, and that was right to Ruddle, and he just took his eyes off of it yeah. dropped the football. They had a, the right play call they there. Did. They had They had the blockers out front. If he catches that, he's going to hit the seam, and, and, you know, he's got the ability to get the first down. Just got to execute there. Uh, Tough play, and, and uh, you know, it's not like Zeb there. You know, yep. first game back, things are moving fast, and, and it happens. So Yeah, he's not uh, watching he's not on the side, sidelines. He's not. No. But here's William Reed set to punt this away. Ball's from the 26. So let's see. Just one lone back here for the Tigers as they go from a wide set. There's a nice punt. See if it gets the a tiger roll. It's going to bounce on a bound at the Minden 46. So Tigers couldn't get much going on that last drive. Yeah, took the shot early on first down and and was was close to having a big play there to Bill Quarius. And you know, you're, you're second and ten. You don't have success on on second down. Uh, you're third and ten, and then here you go, uh, and you have the drop drop pass there by Zeb. Uh, he got to punt it away. So just you know, a little bit of lack of execution, and uh, had to punt the ball away and, and allow your defense to get back out here, hopefully for a, another stop. All right, here's McLaughlin calling for the football. He's got. He drops it. He's down right there at the 37. And I think he's looking for something, but he got back up and acted well, like he wanted to run. And yeah, that I mean, was a good new call, I believe. Yeah, that, he stood up and relaxed. And the one thing you don't do on the football field is relax, <laughs> especially when the whistle hadn't blown. And the whistle had not blown. 
so the, the defensive guys don't know. Uh, they're just going after the man with the ball. So, so a loss of about six on the play. Going to make it second down and 16 for Minden. Yeah, quarterback just dropped the snap there. Uh, this time they're going to hand it off to number three around the left side. He's got a little bit of room. But he's brought down by Kendall, Kendall January, and there's another flag on the field. That's going to be a hold against Minden. And that's going to back them up maybe, and that's going to be declined as the Tigers are going to take the stop. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, no, wait no. and see, they were assuming it wasn't going to be. Yeah. The original spot, he got out to the 41. Now they're going to have to figure it out. This yeah. is – Nope. No. 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 Well, maybe maybe we're taking it. Nope. Hold on. He, he's still – they declined it. And <laughs> he's like, all right. So, Go hold back. it here. It should come out to the 41. It yeah. should be third down and 14. Yeah. Not second. They're going to say no gain on the play. I'm sure Minden's coach is not going to like that. But I don't see him really much about that. That's Spencer Hurd in his third year with the Crimson Tide. Oh, third and 16 it, it is. There's a handoff. They're going to look reverse. for the reverse oh. and then a flea flicker. There you got him. Throwing it down the field. Great and catch. A great catch as they went for the deep man. Didn't account for number 11, Parker Hall. There you got him. Throwing it down there on down the, the field. The, uh, great the, catch. The, a double great reverse catch flea flicker there. And went, Parker Hall comes up with it. They just lost 11 in the coverage right yeah, there. Yeah, Parker came from, from the right this side. side. Yeah, the right side going across the field. They brought the guy from, from the far side of the field on a post. They were wanting to hit the post, uh, and, and Parker came open, and, and the quarterback saw it and, and made a good throw and great catch by Parker there, number 11 for Minden. McLaughlin looking to throw again. He's got a man down around the 32. That's 22. You talked about him, Austin yeah. King. Uh, close to a first down. Actually, not close. About a gain of about six. And it's going to be second down and four. Yeah, 22, Austin King plays offense and defense for, for Menden. He, he's a, a talented player, and I'm sure they want to get the ball in his hands. They're going to give it to three, and not much going on in the middle of the field there for Kentravian Lister. And a gain of a, about a yard on the play, and it'll bring up third down and three. Yeah, big big play right here for the Tiger defense. Got to try to uh, corral these receivers. You got the screen game. This is a, a good time to call a screen, especially if Neville's trying to bring pressure. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Laughlin, looks like he's changing the play a little bit here at the line of scrimmage. They're going to look left, and that's just a mm. miscommunication. Yeah. I don't think 19 got the, no. the check. And, and Neville was playing soft, soft coverage. and uh, They'd have had it right Yeah, there. they had had it. Uh, I, I don't know why Neville was playing such soft coverage there on third and three. Uh, looks like Menon's going to probably have to go for it here, uh, being down 27-7 uh, with it being fourth and three. But I'd like to see the Neville DBs press these guys here, especially on fourth and short. Uh, you got to get up in their face and, and, and know the situation. As, and as good as the Neville DBs have shown that they, they are, they're competitors and, and they can cover. Now delay a game here is, is that uh, they're going to call it. They got the timeout before yeah. the delay a game right there for, for Minden. So a timeout on the field. Let's take one as well. Folks, you're watching Neville Tiger football right here on the Neville Tiger Network. Are you looking to remodel your kitchen or bath? Maybe you're just ready to build your own new home or upgrade your garage or shop. If so, look no farther than Southern Construction. Let Tim Southern's years of experience make your next project come to life. I promise you won't be disappointed. Call Tim today at 318-953-5011. That's Southern Construction, licensed and insured in Monroe. Looking for a place to watch Neville Tiger Athletics? In a beautiful setting, well, look no further. Catahoula's 
located on beautiful Bayou Desert in Monroe, is your place. They are the official watch station of all things Neville Tiger Network. Go see Colby and the gang there at Catahoula's and enjoy some fine food and a great atmosphere. That's Catahoula's on Desert Street in Monroe. All right, welcome back after that timeout. Tiger defense facing a third down, actually a fourth down and three here from Minden as they're trying to keep this drive alive. It'd be a big stop here for Neville. 6.56 to go here in the, in the second quarter. Minden coach making another change here as the Tigers set to go. Laughlin looking to, he's throwing a deep ball right to the middle. That's going to be picked. Yep. That's Elam again. He's got a little running room. Some, blockers, some blockers out in front of him. He's going to make a spin move. He's still on his feet. Watch out. Ooh. Guy from behind is going to get him down right around the 40-yard line. So a miscommunication again, I believe, on the route. He picked as that that's ball Elam again. Be loaded up in the middle of the field. He's got a little Elam's running got room. His second pick of the night. Some it's blockers some out in front of him. Great job He's going to make a spin move. He's still on his turnover. feet. Minden had a good little drive going, and uh, looked like the ball just didn't come out of his hand good, uh, out of Minden's quarterback, and just kind of threw a, a duck up there, and, and uh, Neville's DB uh, was able to get up under it and, and, and make the play. <laughs> big Skip's got the big play belt out. Yep, Elam's got it a couple of yeah, times tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's two tonight for Elam, isn't it? That is yeah. two. It's his second pick of the night. Yeah. The Tigers take over at their own 43-yard line. Gooden goes in motion. They're going to hand this off. That's Jada Smith with the little running room, and the, the, the center judge just might have been the, the best defender there for the the Crimson Tide is he's a, he's kind of a big guy. It's hard to get around, but that's gonna get the Tigers a first down. They cross midfield down to the mid mid Minden. I want to say Midland, Midland, <laughs> Minden 45, and that's another Mama DeLuca's pizza first down. Okay. Oh. And Batterford looking and. and Bill Quarius wasn't looking for the yeah. for the football there. And, and I've been wanting to see that. You know, they're playing soft coverage yeah. on Bill Quarius and, and get him was, a ball and see yeah, what just, he can do. Just let him go one on one, get it to him, throw the hitch and, and and especially on first down, you know, throw the hitch. If he tackles you, you get five yards. So it's a it's a positive play. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it was an RPO, uh, and Bill Quarius just wasn't wasn't um, in on it or or what the deal was, but he was he was acting like he was blocking. There's the throwback. There's to Zeb. He's now he's oh what a he kind of spun <laughs> around and now he's got some running room down the sideline. He's going to be brought down around the 26 yard line and it, it and looked in and yeah, it looked like he was, he was like oh no yep. don't go there. Here's, <laughs> Here's the re replay. He made a quick decision and, 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 he, oh, and he's, what a, he's spun around. He spun around, around <laughs> and now he's got 63. some running room down the sideline. <laughs> and, and that's he's the gonna, spark that Zeb can bring to this offense. You know they they had that play covered. And, and he made a big play. So a big play there by Ruddle. That's going to bring us up against the hydration timeout. So we're going to take one too, folks. You're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. I'm Matt Dickerson, and I'm a satisfied 3B equipment rental customer. So I called Matt because we were trying to get our plots together for dove season. He brought this equipment out to us, dropped it off, unloaded it for us, and really made the whole process very easy. I know Matt does real well in the service department and through some other rental experiences we've had with him. The tractor that he dropped off for us was in brand new condition. Everything was in good shape. It's good to know that you can count on equipment when he drops it off. I'd highly recommend Matt Bridges and 3B Outdoors for all your equipment rental needs. Hey Neville Tiger Nation, this season if you find yourself feeling a little under the weather, visit Go Family Health on North 18th Street. They cover flu shots, sports physicals, sick visits, annual visits, or if nothing is wrong, they can do your regular checkup. Go Family Health has a happy staff, clean office, and they can take care of all your family's health care needs. This is Tiffany Tara with Go Family Health. We love our Neville Tigers. And we want to thank all of Neville Nation for always supporting Go Family Health. All right, we're back here. First and ten, Tigers. Bannerford rolls out to pass. He, he's looking to throw. He's got his man. Bird 
gets down and comes back up, and he's in for the score. But there's a flag right around the 26-yard line. And that might be called back. I don't know. I didn't see it. First I was looking 10, for that. Tigers. Fell down. Was that a Bader hold? For, rolls out to pass. He, he's Illegal looking to throw. He's got field. his man. Bird okay. gets down yeah. and comes Illegal back up, and he's field. in for the I score. But there's a five. Yeah. I believe that was on number 70 for for the Tigers. Um, got him. Got him going downfield. Well, that timing kind of got off on that play as Bird yeah. fell down out of the backfield. Yeah, had to wait a little longer than. But that was a, a just how they drew it up. Yeah, they, they were ready yeah. for. Uh, Minden wasn't ready for that play. You know, Bird. That's two touchdowns now. Bird has had called back. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's getting a little frustrated yeah. <laughs> um, on the punt, and and then now, you know. Um, that's points off the board, and, and Bird's been he, – he's a big, another big-time player for, for the Tigers. Low snap, but Badford holds it. A nice block by Will Campbell. And here comes – Zeb. You know, Zeb is Get running around. Field. Well, he's going to reestablish himself. He had a nice gain and then lost it all <laughs> there as uh, – as the if you heard the news in the crowd, that it. was oh, a oh, nice block, block by Will Campbell. There. And, <laughs> and here comes that's Zeb. Zeb, Zeb you know, is running back. back. Well, he's yeah. a little he's jumpy. Gonna, yep, yep. He could have kept. He's going working down hard. There. He's working he hard. He is. I I actually, lost a yard. Yeah. Oh well, then he gained four <laughs> out of the five, five yard yards. Yeah. So yeah. that was a gain of four for Zeb. But fairly elusive. I see a piece of the guy, the Menden's guy's helmet, laying on the field. From watch out, Batterford. Batterford. Drops the football, but he, he's able to get back on top of it. As number 18, De, DeQuantez Ridley yeah, it looked like, came uh, untouched. Looked like they brought pressure there from the field side, and Batterford just didn't see it. Uh, you know, got to see that before the snap. He, he was fortunate there. He saw it in time because uh, Menden's uh, defenders were, were bearing down on Batterford. Well, uh, another, you know, we talked about that touchdown. Uh, another Touchdown call back by the Tigers, and now they face a third down, about 25 here, 23, I believe they said. Another snap back there. Batterford's got some room to pass. Throw it to Crawford. He's got a little room on the side. He's going to break, try to break a tackle, but he's going to be brought down around the 34-yard line, and that's going to leave the Tigers with a fourth yeah. and about – 19 here, and I don't know if they're going to let's see Reed try to kick one from here. I, I think they are. He's yeah, going to sit he, back up out there. So 34, let's see 44. There's a 51 yarder. Yeah, I believe ball's hey. place going to be the tee's going to be placed on the 41 yard line. So let's see what the Tigers can do here. He's got the leg to do it. Uh, just got to have the protection, the snap, and. Um, Hit it, hit it good. See what happens here. There we go. There's the kick. It is up, and it's not going to get there. The Tigers tried a 51-yarder, and it's going to come up a little bit short, but in the, the Crimson Tide are going to take over at the 40 – at the twenty yard line here in high school it goes yeah. back to the twenty. Yeah. It doesn't go back to the spots. Well so and, and, and it's good, just as good as a that's as a right. Punt. And and now's as good a time as ever to, to test your kicker. Yeah. Test his range, you know, a fifty one yarder. Uh come coming down the stretch, you never know. You may have to try to kick a long one and um, you know, at fifty one yards, he's close. I mean that's a long that's a long field goal. So uh William has done a good job of kicking this year and, and he's got a big leg, but uh just didn't quite hit that one good enough to, to make it from fifty one yards. All right, there's the little they got a screen. Play. They've got a little bit of room, and the big man's rumbling. If ball comes out, they're going to say he's down at around the 34-yard line. Yeah, they Menden caught Neville in a in a blitz there and brought pressure from from the outside, and uh, they threw the ball into the pressure and and was able to execute the play, and it was one on one and uh, were able to get get a first down there. Well, the Tigers. Uh, there's another first down play from Minden. Laughlin looking to throw out a little bit wide yeah. of number 19. 
Yeah, Neville's playing soft coverage up there on on uh, number 19 uh, for Minden. It, it, it looked like he kind of drifted on his route. Quarterback's expecting him to stop on a dime and stick it on his outside shoulder. Uh, looked like the sophomore receiver, Ridley, uh, just kind of drifted on him a little bit. And uh, you, know, you got soft coverage. You got to take what they give. And Neville's trying to keep everything in front of him with the lead. It's 27 to 7. So um, make them execute. And uh, here you are at second and 10. Running the screen. Good job. He just threw it right in the middle. Yeah. It looks like Laughlin didn't have anywhere to go with the football and a nice job of kind of containing him yeah, Dexter, back there. Dexter Walker kind of sniffed that screen out, and he was he was running with the back and, and covered it. And uh, the, the Minden quarterback did all you can do. Uh, when the screen's covered, there's nothing else you can do. You can't throw it down the field because you got linemen down the field. And if you do, it's going to be um, you know, a penalty on you. So throw it at the feet of the running back and, and live to fight another day. Uh, now third and ten here for the Minden Crimson Tide. Under two minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Laughlin looking to throw. He's got the middle man, and that ball's That's picked again. Through. That's Elam. He's got running room down the sideline. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. He's in. And he scores. No flags either. A 46-yard interception return for a touchdown for Marion Elam. That's I'm scratching Laughlin. out the two and throw. saying he's got three the middle picks. man, and that ball's that picked again. That's Elam. He's got running right room there. down the sideline. I don't think out. anybody's going to catch him. He's in. No, it, and he scored. He did a player of the game. <laughs> he's, 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 he's up there. <laughs> and, and we'll talk to maybe an Aaron's ace coming up here yeah. with our friend Aaron Dietrich yeah. over there at KNOE. But uh, that ball was tipped. Yeah. He was uh, Johnny on the spot and takes it 46 yards to pay dirt. And the Tigers tackle on six more. Yeah, Minden had the guy open. Uh, quarterback there made a, a pretty good throw. It looked like it just hit off his hands and, and bounced right to the Neville defender there. And, and uh, he did his job of, of taking it the other way. The old tip drill. Yep. As the Tigers are going to come out of the swinging gate, William Reed going to kick this point after. Here's a snap. The kick is up. <clears throat> and it's good. All right, folks, the Tigers are really hot here in the first, first half of play. They extend their lead to 34-7. to We'll be right back. You're watching Neville Tiger football on the Neville Tiger Network. Since 1977, if you thought barbecue in Monroe, you thought Padna's Barbecue, Louisiana's original barbecue joint. Stop by for dine-in or takeout today. That's Padna's Barbecue on Highway 165 in Monroe. Whether you're dining in or grabbing to go, at Nukes, we love to share great food, to delight with new flavors, to celebrate every bite. Join us at Nukes Eatery. Hi, we're back. Tigers extending their lead to 34-7 to with a... a after a 47-yard interception return for a touchdown. And it's just really been mostly Neville here in the 